Hey, beautiful people. So I really love coming back to the Beatitudes um, when I'm feeling jaded and overwhelmed um, by the negativity and seemingly insurmountable crises that just keep coming. Um, it feels especially raw in this time. You know, I've been seeing a lot of um, these copy and paste manifestos popping up on my social media. I don't know if you guys have, have seen those, but it's these, you know, these are my political non-negotiables. And if you don't like it, then you can leave, um, essentially. And I love coming back to the Beatitudes because I feel like this is... Um, these are the Christian non-negotiables, right? Like this is, this is what it means to be a follower of Jesus and a kingdom builder, right? So blessed are they who realize their spiritual poverty for the kingdom of heaven belongs to them. They are blessed who grieve for God will comfort them. They are blessed who are humble for the whole earth will be theirs. They are blessed who hunger and thirst after justice, for they will be satisfied. They are blessed who show mercy to others, for God will show mercy to them. They are blessed whose thoughts are pure, for they will see God. They are blessed who work for peace, for they will be called God's children. They are blessed who are persecuted for doing good, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to them. This brings us to the idea of um, that a lot of theologians have written about um, this, the theology of the wounded healer um, and talking about kind of the difference between having uh, just having a broken heart and a heart that is broken open. Um, Carl Jung and Henry Nouwen and Brennan Manning have all written wonderfully about the theology of the wounded healer. Um, and it's this idea that our brokenness, right? Realizing our spiritual poverty, um, being people who grieve, those, uh, those who have experienced loss, um, those who have a, a hunger and a thirst for justice who see injustice in our world and have a desire to see it righted, right? These are things that can just break your heart. And they do. They break our hearts. And we can sit in those places with broken hearts and let it just be that. Or we can have hearts that are broken open and move to compassion like Jesus did. Um, hearts broken open are, are available to others in their suffering because we understand suffering in our own lives. Using your pain to inform another person's experience. Having a broken heart says, I can learn from, from my experience. I may learn from that, but compassion, compassion says I can move to help bring about healing in someone else's life. Um, it's like if you, somebody spills tax on the floor and you step on a tack, right? Like you experience that pain yourself, right? And you could just say, oh man, that really hurt and pull out the tack and move on. But compassion cleans up the tax, right? Compassion says, because of my experience of pain, I want to use my life use what I have to help alleviate 
the pain of others. Compassion works for the healing and wholeness of others informed by our brokenness. There's a really great quote from Brennan Manning from his book, Abba's Child. Um, because I think in order to really do this, we have to, we have to be able to bring our whole selves into our relationship with God. Um, and not have some parts of our lives be the spiritual parts, right? Like bringing our entire identity, the mistakes, um, you know, the, the pain that we inflict on ourselves uh, and that we inflict on others. And then that kind of suffering that comes to us as part of living in this free world. Um, but that we have to bring all of ourselves into our relationship with God. Um, and Brennan Manning says this, so live in the wisdom of accepted tenderness. Tenderness awakens within the security of knowing we are thoroughly and sincerely liked by someone. Scripture suggests that the essence of the divine nature is compassion and that the heart of God is defined by tenderness. I love the idea that we are not only loved by God, which sometimes has this underlying feeling of obligation, that God is sort of obliged to love us because that is God's self, but that we're also liked. That Jesus, the Christ, would actually want to spend time with us. The ultimate wounded healer, the one who experienced suffering and death for all of humanity likes us. Not just loves us, but likes us. And there is a tremendous power in, in knowing that and being able to bring that, that kind of tenderness into our care for each other. So I hope, <laughs> I hope that um, you find some time to reflect on those broken places in your lives and see how those jagged edges can help you um, make connections with others to help heal some of those those broken places in others lives and so i'll i'll leave you with this this is a quote from henry nowen from his book the wounded healer experience tells us that we can only love because we are born out of love that we can only give because our life is a gift and that we can only make others free because we are set free by him whose heart is greater than ours. When we have found the anchor places for our lives in our own center, we can be free to let others enter into the space centered for them and allow them to dance their own dance, sing their own song, and speak their own language without fear. Isn't that beautiful? That's, to me, that is what it means to build the kingdom of God. It means to bring all of myself into the presence of God in such a way that it inspires others to bring their whole selves into the presence of God, to then inspire others to bring their whole selves 
into the presence of God. And it just grows and grows and grows into this beautifully authentic kingdom that is made for those who realize their spiritual poverty, for those who grieve, for those who are humble, who hunger and thirst for justice, for those who show mercy, for those whose thoughts are pure, for those who work for peace, and those who are persecuted for doing good, for those who get pushed back for doing good. That's the kingdom of heaven. That's the kingdom of heaven I want to belong to. (laughs) Thank you for letting me share.